Hey everybody, uh, I accidentally, when picking up the controller, realized you can hit R and go to other things on the game. Uh, I did not know that the config thing is just the same thing as the main menu, but what the hell is Linkboard? Oh! It's literally the Linkboard. That's really cool, actually. Can I zoom in on it? Yeah. Oh, so if we ever need to remind ourselves of what everyone's relation is. Oh, we should probably check out this, uh, the tours, right? We haven't done that yet. Mm -hmm. Emma Sanders. Adopted daughter of Tyrone, right? Okay. I forgot about that. Yeah. I didn't know about the adopted part. Yeah. I uh, killed. We've confirmed that, I guess. Through magic, mostly. Huh. We still don't have Professor R anywhere on this. Good to know. Okay, uh, so we have a lot of time we need to kill before Monday. However, there's a bunch of places we need to go to, isn't there? So we can't do that one yet. We need a vending machine, and apparently there's one just around the block here. On the map, it looks like it was just down this street, and we need canned spinach. You know, to be as strong as Popeye the Sailor Man. Well, yeah, how else are we going to take down the killer, right? Yeah. Oh, there it is. Uh, this is all drinks? That's all drinks. Not a single can of... Let's try somewhere else. Oh, no. Am I going to have to, like, hunt through all of them? Oh, shit. I think we've got the wrong vending machine. Okay, this must be to force us to explore town. Okay, there's another one down there. I guess we're just checking vending machines for a little while. The vending machine episode. Well, it's a good thing we've been upgrading the skateboard, right? Yeah. Maybe we've got to write down a shopping list of all the items we need to upgrade our skateboard more. I don't remember. Is it money that increases the amount of slots you can, uh... You can have for modding an individual thing, whether that be your gun or your board or whatever. Do we purchase new slots or was that like an item based upgrade? With the uh, charms and stuff, it's definitely with items, but I don't recall with the skateboard. If it's items with one, it's probably items with all of them. Damn it. This vending machine does not carry what God seeks. <laughs> Let's move on, Zach. Uh, I say that often to myself, in fact. What, let's carry uh, on, Zach? That too. <laughs> okay. Down that way, then. I wonder if it's just gonna railroad you into telling you which vending machines you gotta check at a certain point. Maybe. I kind of hope so. We also need to hit up, was it the police station for one of the items? Uh, yeah, to talk to Melvin. Yeah. Uh, what's that thing coming up there? The board repair shop? Yeah. Because you're getting close right. to those. Yeah. And actually, we've you were already, right there. Yeah, we've already clicked that one. Okay. I was just making sure I got the waypoint there, too. We should probably hit up the bar. It's getting late enough that the bar's probably open. Mm hmm. Hell, maybe the bar will have spinach for us. Maybe. Apparently there's enemies all around here. Oh no, squirrels! Oh no, squirrels! Ah! Fucking punch what them out! The, what was the punch button again? It was that one. Okay. I okay, patty. we're good. We're good. Oh. There we go. It's just some random vending machine had it. Weird. Zach, we finally found our can of spinach. Good for you. Look, Zach. Even this vending machine is managed by Clarkson Food Delivery Services. But who in their right mind would sell canned goods in a vending machine in the middle of nowhere? I only hope that it's not expired. Yeah, that is weird. You hope it's not expired. Shouldn't there be an expiration date on it? Mm -hmm. that you can just look at with your eyes? Um, okay. Where do I need to go next? I wanted to go... Let's just to go to... Bar. Yeah, let's just go to this waypoint. 
And if we have the waypoint for the bar, then sure, we'll go. If we don't have the waypoint for the bar, then we'll go to the police do. station. Because it was the owl's nest, and I remember seeing uh, the wyvern logo on the map. Ah, uh, yeah, we probably have it then. I, I think it only appears on the map if you get it. But I could be misremembering. We'll see. Okay. Uh, well, first of all, police department, just so we can get the item for the quest out of the way. What else could we do around town while we're waiting for Monday? We could get a sunburn, although I don't know how. Boat we racing? Could, yeah, we could do the boat racing minigame, because we haven't tried that yet. Do right, you think uh, Melvin's just not around right now because it's a little late in the day? Yeah, I think that's why he's not outside. He must only be out there in the daytime. Owl's Nest it is! God, there's a lot of vending machines in this town now that I look at the map for it. It's like they're in Japan. Is Japan just full of vending machines? Oh yeah. Huh. I guess that's not terribly surprising, is it? They're vending machines for just about it, anything. You'll, the most Wait, common one is drinks, but... Is oh, that Raven? It's, yeah, it's Raven. Oh, let's talk to her. She's just taking a smoke break after driving you. Coming. Must be going well if you're on the case. Thank you. Uh, PR. Huh. Okay. Raven, have you ever heard of this game called F-Zero? Well, yeah, I play the soundtrack as I drive everywhere I go. Do you think maybe you owe them some commercial rights? I wonder who owns this place. Are we about to meet a new character? Watch it just be Melvin. If it's David Jawara, it's going to be incredible. Okay, who's this? Xavier. Don't know that. Guy. New guy. And he's the, uh, he's the nude instrumentalist on the stage yeah. that we saw earlier. For a moment, I thought those were floating. A lot of candles for a bar. That seems dangerous. Got a minute? I'm the bartender here. I ain't gonna stop you from talking to me. This is America. Land of the free. So folks just do whatever the hell they want. That's one of the beautiful things about America. Yeah. All right. I already like this guy. <laughs> FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. But please call me York. That's what everyone calls me. A bureau man, eh? You hear about lease. Yeah. His eyes get really wide. <laughs> that I am. Very astute of you. What do you know about her? No one lives forever. Eventually, all life must come to an end. I wonder if he and the mirror hang out. Yeah. So you don't know much about her? I'm sure he hangs out with the his girl mirror. I love was her best friend. That's all I know, man. Well, that's still Sounds useful. Like deeply connected to this case, then. Why are you giving me the runaround? Truth bomb number one. Think good and hard before you reveal yourself to someone you don't know. Just some common sense for daily survival. Yeah. Yar. Hey, girl, man. You change your underwear every day. Here's another truth bomb for you. Clean, <laughs> white underwear without a single stain on it. So pristine it shines. Yes, that's Your correct. It doesn't truly begin until you slip them on. Yeah. Our world's filled with truth bombs. And that's about all I can really tell you. Zach, this man has got a very unique style to him. I reckon it's about time we stop flapping our gums here, Bureau Man. 
Don't give up the good fight. Yeah. Yeah. One last thing. Do you always dress this way? I'm yeah. not quite sure how to put it, but you're practically naked. This is America, land of the free. I'm simply exercising my freedom. And as my fellow American, you need to respect my freedom. <laughs> All right, I like him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's his bar. Yeah, I he guess so. What he wants. I'm not gonna argue yeah, with him. Here. You're not allowed You're to see this. Man. Oh God, no! Yeah, she should not be in here. Crooks. All right, I'll so order something. Professor R owns this place, oh. and you manage it all on your own. Pretty much, yeah. Professor R yeah. is really busy. What sort of relationship do you have with her? You interrogating me, bureau man? Professor R is my boss. I'm her employee. End of story. What's your job? Bartenders make drinks and serve them. Yeah. No special drugs on some secret menu? Oh, uh, that's very upfront to ask. Yeah, I always thought that uh, bartenders in this town uh, play music on the stage. Yeah. Yeah, he does a little bit more than just bartend here. He also performs, unless he's not talking about that because perhaps it's not part of his job. I don't know. Louisiana's got music. We don't need drugs. Louisiana definitely, definitely has drugs, though. Mm-hmm. Even in Louisiana, drug use is rampant. Yes, it is. Not here, it ain't. Folks come here to enjoy a drink and listen to some jazz. I came across this spot when I was looking for a place where my buddies and I could play. Professor R happened to be looking for a bartender to sell some drinks and keep track of the money. And if that bartender can also play some music on the side, well, that's a match made in heaven. Okay, so he also handles the money and he also is hired to play here. Okay, mm -hmm. so his job is a little bit more involved than he was letting on. It's just one big truth bomb, Bureau Man. Irrefutable. Yeah. Okay. Crawfish at Tuffet. I mean, we're not really hungry. So I will just go with the cheaper food here. Fills you to the brim. Whatever. <laughs> we have enough money. No reason not to top it off, right? Maybe we'll get yeah. some dialogue. <laughs> we gotta try all the local cuisine. Now you're a man that can hold his liquor, Bureau Man. <laughs> that crab cake was stuffed with alcohol? Oh, no! You know, you remind me of someone. Who? Oh. A historical figure from another country. Oh? Well, I'd certainly like to hear about him. Michelangelo Bunarotti, the Italian sculptor. Was that his Do last you know name? Of his work? I was unaware. The Pietà, hmm. David, Leocoan, and his sons. If I listed everything, we'd be here all day. He's famous for his sculpting work, but he was also a fantastic painter. Sistine Chapel ceiling is definitely one of his best. Yeah. I completely agree with you, bartender. But why did you bring up Michelangelo? When Michelangelo painted that ceiling, he did it standing up, looking towards the heavens. He used for me as a model for the day. Yeah. Little by little. The ultimate task a single human can achieve over a period of four years. It truly is a masterpiece, worth every compliment. But why do I remind you of Michelangelo? Bureau man, what are you in such a hurry for? All right. What I've been trying to say is, I bet it was a real pain in the ass to draw that whole thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and... And... Your job is a pain in the ass, too. Yeah. I mean, whose isn't? Yeah, I guess you could say that. 
Well, there you have it. Have what? Just another truth bomb. Confirmed, because Michelangelo oh, and York have similar opinions of their job that makes them equivalent. Yeah. After all that dramatic buildup, I never expected him to reach such a vapid conclusion. Perhaps he's nothing but atmosphere. I'm completely outmatched, that's for sure. I could never hope to exude as much sheer atmosphere as that man, especially during such pointless conversations. YouTube comments. <laughs> okay, well, what happens if I just pick talk on him rather than order? I think I need to, like, walk away and walk back for it to appear. Yeah, bureau. My identity. Uh... Like, as a bartender? That is, that is... I think Xavier assumes York thinks he's not a proper bartender? Is that what that's on about? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Recommend a different cocktail every day. Okay. Huh. So, is this a side quest to drink one of his cocktails every day of the week? Okay, drink all seven of Xavier's cocktails across the course of did it say one week? Yep. So one a day. Okay. We gotta we gotta really be on top of yeah. things to pull that off. Sometimes. Yeah. But I'm willing to try. So this one's his uh, his dark cocktail. Dark and stormy, I think. Dark and stormy? A cocktail made. Ah. Okay, I mean I'll try it. I'd never really been a mixed drink guy. Not a big drinkist in the first place, but I don't mind sipping on some tequila or remember. something. Live jazz on the weekends. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll have to keep that in mind when we come in on the weekend. Hey! Unlike real life, icons appear when you're intoxicated. I love the idea of all game mechanics coming with a warning of unlike real life before it. Oh, um, I noticed on the left side there that it says Monday in all lowercase. Oh. I wonder if that was like a, a beta thing. Because I think nowadays it says when, like, it has something capitalized. Yeah, I, I think so. Maybe that's just a picture from earlier in development then. Am mm -hmm. I not allowed to walk over there? No, this is like a wall. This bar is actually just a small hallway. So now that you're tipsy, are you moving slower? I don't feel like I am, but with this frame rate, you never quite know. Yeah. No, I, I feel the same, actually. Maybe it's just because it's one cocktail, I don't know. Maybe it's also because we had a full stomach. Mm. Speaking of a full stomach, I don't have one in real life, and now I now regret drinking an entire massive mug of coffee when all I ate was a small sandwich. Oh my god, my stomach is awful right now. No, I have yet to eat anything today, actually. You should probably eat anything today, actually. Probably between episodes, I'll grab a granola bar. Do it. I dare you. Okay. In fact, you, you double dog dare me. I don't think I have a granola bar to eat. Do you have any sort of snack? Mm. Besides yourself, that is. I could probably scrounge something together, and thank you, I feel pretty today. 
so what the fuck are we doing next now? I have no idea what we're going to do for progress. Um, uh, oh, no. Can you imagine all the loading screens of having to go in that bar every day for a drink and then coming out? Hmm, that might be a low priority side quest. Oh, do you think the reason why you have a skateboard in this game, or at least one of the reasons why, was because he wanted drinking to be part of the game? And he doesn't want York to be drunk driving because he mm. wants him not to not be a bad influence? Mm-hmm. I bet you that's it, because I do know that Sweary himself is a huge beer connoisseur. And he probably doesn't want to, like, you know, York is such a likable character, he wouldn't want him to be drunk driving. Mm hmm Which is fair. Um, huh. Do we want to go look for the other flirt -a -lee? We could, yeah. I mean, it's, everything's kind of closing down anyway. It's this button? Yeah. Okay, so there's still we'll that no idea fucking that number seven. I've got no clue on that. We've got or this. That one. Which could be a lot of places. We've got... There's the front of town, which we still haven't been to. And a barn. And barn. Do you think that barn is the sugar plantation? Or did we already do the sugar plantation? I don't remember. I don't think we did. Hmm. I'm guessing the Thompson's Farms minigame is closed right now anyway. So, yeah, the barn must be somewhere up in this region. Let's let's go over there. Ideally, let's do more yeah. flirtily hunting. Wait, 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 wait. No. Abandoned factory, okay. For a second, I thought this said abandoned farm, and I was going to say, did I miss an abandoned farm? Okay, well, we'll go over there. We'll search for that. I'm still so lost on the maybe a park, maybe... The Clarkson's Residence one. I really want to say it's the Clarkson's Residence because it feels like everything else is at a major location that has a waypoint, you know? Yeah. But, hmm. Hold on. Which side of the road? You're okay, at I'm, I'm on, the south end. So I'm facing the wrong way. It could be that barn. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of think it might be this barn. It seems like everything in the first album... It's all just major locations, you know? Major oh, locations I should... within the first act, I feel. Now, will the value of this UFO be greater than the value of the bullets that I have two of? Oh, did you see that waiver, by the way? I think that's Nelko. Oh, God, a squirrel came out! One it stole a cola stolen of... from uh... you. Oh, well. Oh, my inventory was pretty full anyway. More space for bullets. Interesting that I'm allowed to go back in there. Oh, uh, I don't think this could be the right door. Because uh, there's yeah. a- Oh no, there yeah, is a stop is. sign on it. Okay, I go. didn't even notice that before. Yay! God, that needs Patty, a sound effect. Uh, this so there's the- one. Now, the real question is, which way is the, the way into the entrance, town? Yeah. The entrance isn't up here, is it? No, there's a southeast entrance, it seems like. Down by Avery's... Right next to Thompson's farm. Um... Oh, this? Yeah. Uh... Oh, could be this? That's like a railroad, that like though. A rail... Yeah, it looks like a railroad. See, I would say the way into town is probably this, because this looks yeah, to me like a highway. And this, I think, is an overpass over that mm -hmm. that, you know, goes over the Mississippi. So the way into town is either... I, I would assume the sign would it's be right, right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, no, well... We haven't really explored that area just yet, so... I think that might be one of the only areas we haven't really checked out at all. Oh, hold on. Apparently there's a lot of items back here. Maybe I should grab that. Ah, went a little too far. What is all this? Okay, I know we needed oak leaves. Maybe we should be writing down where we get some of these items. And then just refer to them later. Yeah, Louisiana iris flower. I don't think we had that. This is good shit. And we go. To, was that a person? Yeah. Why are you He's dressed walking. like that? Do you work here? Typical huh. farm attire. 
Yeah, I was gonna say, that's a weird thing to wear. There's a lot of people around here that don't seem to be dressed appropriately for working on a sugar plantation. Huh. I mean, have you worked on a sugarcane plantation before? Do you know how you would dress? I haven't, but I've run one in Civilization IV colonization. Does that yeah, count? Steve. See, that makes you more qualified to handle a sugarcane plantation than I ever would be. Yeah. And I mean, that's a very, very realistic simulator of running a sugar plant, uh, sugar plantation. You know, you, you, you get someone from Europe, and then you train them at the local native village to become a sugar planter, and then you drag them onto the uh, sugar tile, and that's how you run a sugar plantation. Yeah, just like real life. Just like real life, yeah. It was actually very, very easy. Uh, I guess I'll go Memorial Oak Street. I actually don't know why this street matters, which makes me really think that there's a fleur de lis here. By the way, we uh, we unlocked Xavier's house as a uh, a point of interest on the map. It's like right next to Melvin's house. Oh, I didn't know that. That's in the neighborhood we're going to, right? It's about southeast from you. Maybe we'll hit that up while we're here. And by hit that up while we're here, I mean, maybe we'll hit that up on the next episode. Sick, I can go get a granola bar. I can go be disappointed that I don't have a granola bar. <laughs>